my mom, right, is uh, coming up with all these cool different recipes. And uh, so she's- Your mom up, the baker. My mom the baker. Nana makes pies is her uh, little home business. And uh, she's coming up with this deal that we can do. What's this? This is dark chocolate cherry bourbon bread pudding. What? Dark chocolate cherry bourbon bread pudding. So good, dude. It it almost tastes like an undercooked brownie, like the best part mm -hmm. of the undercooked brownie. Yeah. With bourbon, and then there's there's dried cherries that got get all plump. And what we're doing is we'll do like a square of that. We'll get it toasted up, mm -hmm. and then we'll drizzle it with caramel. Finish with some uh, whipped cream and a cherry on top. All right, there you go, guys. That's gonna be uh, Valentine's Day dessert right there. <laughs> and I tell it's you so what, good. This the, we had two pans of this, and my wife. It's Friday morning. I'm not supposed to be at my restaurant today. I'm supposed to be at home doing a bunch of admin work, but um, we've had a, a tragedy occur at our restaurants. Somebody near and dear to everyone here, Linda Nation, she passed away. She is Tim's mom. She is also our, our dessert queen. You know, she has made all of our desserts, our um, dessert specials every month. And she has been like the mama bear for this restaurant. First of all, this is Nana makes pie. She makes all the pies for Onassis. <laughs> yeah. So if you've ever been to Onassis and had one of our delicious pies, that's where they come from. That's right. How are the sales this month? Doing pretty good. The lemon Doing cake? What's good. next month? Um, apple streusel uh, cake. Linda gave us that special, you know, when she would come into the room, all of the staff would light up and say hello and, and say, hi, Miss Linda, what's the dessert this month? And so many of our guests have uh, enjoyed her desserts. Everyone talked about her desserts. Hey, what's the dessert of the month? What's the dessert of the month? And it has become a, a staple at our restaurant. Tim said, hey, my mom makes desserts. And I'm like, oh my goodness, okay. Well, I, you know, I don't wanna peddle your mom's desserts just because it's your mom. And, uh, and then, then Linda brought me one of her pies. And I was like, oh my goodness. This is like one of the best things I've ever had. It was so luxurious. These are the best desserts ever. And it has been proven with the high volume of dessert sales that we've had over over the years. So I'm, I'm glad that that Onassis and Opa what was able to share and I know she was already selling her desserts um, privately, but being able to share her passion and her love for making desserts with thousands and thousands of people. And I think that that's a beautiful thing to be remembered by is uh, sweetening people's day up uh, with something delicious. We went and saw mom yesterday in Weatherford. So I, I bought a few peaches, I just hand-picked peaches, but they're the biggest ones. And so uh -huh. Tim got, I sent some to Tim and uh, that we, we went by yesterday. On our way back, he said, uh, they sold out of the pies, mom. And I said, oh my gosh. You know, b besides that, you know, she's just obviously a, a great, great mom. And, and Tim's relationship with her, it just shows that. I mean, he, we always call him a mama's boy. He really did love, he really does love his mom. And there's a reason, you know, for being a mama's boy. That means that like, like your mom took care of you and ra raised you right and, and built a, a, you know, impenetrable bond. Every time that we've had a conversation, she has been nothing but an angel. And I'll miss her. The restaurant will miss her. All of our guests will miss her and miss her wonderful desserts and her smiling face. I'm gonna, I've already been in, in contact with Tim. I said, just, you know, come and go as you need to. Sometimes these things happen and you know, all I can do is, is put myself in their shoes and try to figure out like how I would handle it. But dealing with the death of a parent is so unique and I think every person will handle it differently. And that's just, you know, being 36, 36 to 46 to 56, I don't know when that, when that 20 year uh, range, that's something that we all have to deal with. The restaurant 
our staff, our guests, uh, we're all gonna miss miss you, Miss Linda, and and your desserts, and uh, we'll be praying for the whole family.